On January 15, 1969, Private First Class Garfield Langhorn threw himself on a live grenade, saving the lives of all of his platoon mates. Today, the Purple Heart recipient receiving another posthumous honor, witnessed by a sea of green. Today uh, was a great day. Be able to come here and honor Garfield Langhorn, especially on Martin Luther King Day. Very proud that, uh, you know, he did what he did at that age. I don't know what I would have done, but it was great that he sacrificed his life for others. Congressman Lee Zeldin unveiling legislation for a Garfield M. Langhorn semi-postal stamp. The proposed stamp would feature Langhorn's likeness. At 60 cents a pop, the proceeds after postage would go to support services for veteran families. They put all kinds of different things on stamps. Uh, this is really meaningful. For just 11 cents more than a standard stamp, those who buy it would be giving back on his behalf. They're not only keeping the very important memory and legacy of a Medal of Honor recipient alive, but the excess money is going to help a veteran in need. It was a packed house at the private first class Garfield M. Langhorn post office named in his honor. Among the speakers, Doris Eve. Eve's husband was in Langhorn's platoon that fateful day. If it wasn't for Garfield, I wouldn't have the wonderful life that I have. We have three wonderful children. We have eight grandchildren. One of whom bears the name of the fallen hero. Seven-year-old Benjamin Rodney Garfield Eve has a special bond with the man that saved his granddad. I just feel like, like he's with me all the time. The Eve family joining forces with the Langhorns today to support the special stamp. Congressman Lee Zeldin says there should be no reason this stamp doesn't go into production in the next couple months or even weeks. All he needs is signatures from other lawmakers. In Riverhead, Long Island, Tara Jaquay, CBS 2 News.